supposedly wild caught uh, Arena Collins Tiger Shovel Nose 5 from Aqua Import. So this morning, October 16th, 2019, we, we got five Tiger Shovel Nose from Aqua Imports from Mike. Thank you, Mike. Supposedly wild caught Pseudoplatystoma orinocoens. But some experts, such as Black Bullhead from Monster Fish Keepers, I think these are just uh, fasciarum. The old good fasciarum. I mean, this is what they were before the revision, anyway, before the latest revision. Just got on water is cold. I'm gonna have to acclimate them. We're acclimating here. The arriving water temperature was 80, um, sorry, 76 degrees, and my water temperature is 87 right now. So I'm going to take a while to acclimate them. Still acclimating, everybody's hiding under the thermometer. to release the little guys into their new tank. Okay, maybe our first. Cute little buttons, I hope they're gonna be okay in there. Big guy, just slightly bigger than the rest. Last one.
This one has got a lot more stripes, but it doesn't mean anything. The stripes are heavily evolving right now. Some have more, some, has, has, some have less, some have wider, some have thinner, it doesn't mean anything. Only time will show what they will turn out to be. But I'm pretty sure they're all gonna be fussy out on based on what Black Bullhead from MFK tells us. Pictures are checking out their new companions, pressing their barbels against them to see if they're a food or a threat. So that's three. There's one on the back wall. And there's one more here. All right, so they have gone into the tank with all the small fish, 240 gallons. All our small tanks are 240, eight by two by two with a bunch of Pictus, Pipilotus Arnatus, about 20 or 22 Pictus, six or five Pipilotus Arnatus, one unknown catfish from Jeff Reps that's maybe related to Pinirampus Piriampu, couple of yellow chicks, couple of Dor species, this is Dor Doronensis, and there is one Neolistochilus Benazi in there, and uh, there is a polypterus, biker, Senegali. A couple of plecos, a yo-yo loach hiding in there somewhere. And a starry night cichlid. So that's their uh, company at the moment. So you can see all five of them right now in the shot. Good luck to you little fellas. Man, they're thin. I mean, they're not malnourished, but they're just thin by nature right now. They're very fragile. They look like you could kill them if you drop a quarter on them. Look fragile, but their fish are very, very resist resilient, despite what many may think or uh, may have assumptions. The things we subject them to, and the bad water, and the stress, and the unnatural life in a, in, a, in a glass box, they still can handle all of that and live, a, live out a more or less expected lifespan, which is for Tiger Shovel Nose, should be at least 50 years, if everything goes wrong, if, if everything goes right, if anything goes wrong, of course, it it shortens their lifetime. So that's our new edition, five tiger shovel nose. From Mike from Aqua Imports, thank you Mike. I also must mention that uh, these have been sponsored by a couple of our very good friends from Monster Fish Keepers, Tobias, Soren, uh, Tobias and uh, Brian. They uh, wrote to me and they said they want to, they want me to buy, they want to buy these fish for me. So I, because they can't keep them really or can't find them, but they want to know how they are and. They want me to keep a journal on them, which I do on all my fish anyway. So these are these are a communal effort from Monster Fish Keepers by three people. Brian, aka Fishhead, Tobias from Sweden, and me. Thank you guys. One month update on the Pseudoplatystoma orinocoans or Orinoco River Tiger Shovel Nose. We 
which I think is likely just a fasciatum, thanks to black bullhead teaching. In one month they have grown considerably, as you can see, it's probably hard to judge, but they're doubled in length or so. They look about 8 inches. The biggest is probably even more, maybe 9, 10. And they arrived at about uh, four and a half inches, maybe five, four and a half to five and a half. So that's uh, they added about three to four inches in the first month, which is not surprising for tiger shovel nose. This is how they grow, on par with the red tail catfish, or acara, or marble pim catfish. Those are some of the fastest growers, reaching about two feet in, in the first year. As you can see, their stripe pattern has pretty much evened out, more or less. I mean, there is some variation, but they all look about the same right now to me. Pseudoplatistoma means, pseudo means fake. Platy means flat, stoma means mouth. So the genus is called fake flat mouth, meaning that the mouth is collapsible in, in fact, and it's not flat at all. It looks flat, that's why f the word fake is in there. But they're very efficient predators that use the stealth when the fish is facing you head on. It doesn't look like a huge fish with a big mouth. But in fact, it does have a big collapsible mouth. And when you see it sidewise, you realize you're dealing with a monster predatory catfish. I'm talking from a perspective of the prey. So that's one month update. They take pellets and uh, at this point thawed glass minnow uh, which are about four or five inches long. It's about the time for the dinner, even though some of them still have good bellies on them. On them. But it's getting at that, at that time of the day. Thank you again, guys, for watching.